Okay, I want to tell you something. My barber fucked up my hair massively. You probably can't tell, but I've got it. It's like really short around the back and just everywhere else, but the front, it's so bad. Yeah, I feel so insecure about it. I'm not taking the beanie off until it's a lot longer. So expect beanie kaibutsu for at least a few months. So hey, how's it going, everybody? It's been a bit of, bit of, bit of a while, hasn't it? I got really sick, so uh, I took some time off and relaxed. I only had one day off of school, so. And uh, time that I would have spent making a video, uh, I used up on so many hours of Power World. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that game's fun. Beating the living shit out of animals and then using them for slave labor? <laughs> well, I'm a woodpecker. Hell yeah! That, that I might make a video on. Let me know if you want a video about Power World. So in this video, I'm gonna be answering some questions that you've asked me on my Discord server. I was going to do this for when I reached a thousand subscribers, but I'm impatient, so I'm gonna just do it now. Yeah, let's get impatient, boys. Let's get real impatient. Why do you even started this all? By that, I assume you mean why I started this channel. And truth be told, I just thought it'd be fun. There's no other way of putting it. I didn't want to do it just to reach popularity or to get money or anything. I just thought this is a way for to me to just place my garbage on the internet. Opinion on your home city? Curious, XD. Okay, time to dox where I live, yeah. So I live in the large coastal town of Bournemouth. It's a pretty nice area, it's quite touristy. And there are some pretty cool places, don't get me wrong. Like for example, the gardens, those are quite nice. We've got a few shopping centers as well. It's, it's quite a nice place. The problem is it's the ninth most dangerous place in the entire UK, as f from what I heard. It's dangerous, but nah. Eh. No, it's beautiful, but dangerous. Just like Revy from Black Lagoon. Oh, that was cringe. How many languages can you speak competently? Funny enough, I don't actually speak fluently. I can read the alphabets and pronounce words correctly. But if you're looking for the most, uh, the, a language I can speak the best, would probably be Russian. I learned Russian back in 2017. I was just self-taught it, but yeah. Show more of your fetus videos. What the fuck? When you said it's terribly living in the UK, do you really mean it? It's not that bad. I just hate the people here. We're rude, we can be ra very racist, and we do like to stab each other. It's not bad economic-wise. Well, it does, depending on when you live. If you live in Brighton, you'll, you'll be okay. If you, if you live in Crewe, please get out. But I don't understand why people from other countries want to move here. Like, Gdansk, Poland is one of the most beautiful things ever and you want to move to bloody Birmingham. Like, why? I get it's because you get more money working here, but I'd argue it it's not even worth it. Everything around you is just so much more beautiful, which is why I actually briefly considered when I went to Romania, I actually briefly considered, like, living there. I mean, who knows? I might. Not sure. But right now, I probably want to go to Japan because I'm a massive fucking weeaboo. I know this is an outdated question that you abandoned 100 years ago. What was the global firepower of all of the countries of the Yinkling and Octoling world? No, this question might be confusing. Okay, for those of you who don't know, a while back I was a Gmod animator. I know it's really cringe. Uh, and I had my own fictional countries. I had I had some lore going. I had some proper lore going. There were like, I think there were like 12 or 16 countries. I don't even remember. But I'd say the global firepower for every single one of them. My fucking life! I'd say the global firepower for every single one of the countries, it would rival the strength of modern day China and the Soviet Union at its peak. What are your favorite tanks? I think my favorite tanks are from Russia and the Soviet Union. So the T-34, the T-72, the T-90, and the MP2. They're pretty good tanks overall, but yeah, I just love Soviet tanks as well. Will you go to Malaysia if you have the money to go there? Trust me, there are tons of places that are underrated. Actually, I really, if I have the money to go, I will go anywhere. I'd even go to North Korea. I really want to go to North Korea. What is your favorite anime? Uh, I'd say my favorite anime that I'm watching right now is probably Soul Eater. But I think my favorite anime I've watched ever is probably Azu Manga Dayo. You know, funny, funny Osaka. <laughs> the Osaka. That one. What are your favorite spot in your home country of the UK? I like Bristol and Bath. They're quite nice looking places. Uh, pretty much the only places in the UK I'd actually recommend you go because everywhere else just looks dingy. It's just god awful, I don't like it. Could you make every nation military uniform from the Splatoon world that you used to make videos on? I don't have that kind of money. I'd love to, but I don't have the money. If I could make a fictional uniform, real, 
I would probably make the uniform from Metro. Or maybe the monolith uniform from Stalker. Those would look really cool. Now, nah, imagine that. You go to Airsoft looking like a <laughs> like a member of the monolith from Stalker. That'd be crazy, though. Who usually pays you to buy all of that equipment since you don't have a job because you're too lazy to work? Oh, that nigga dead! Okay, hang on. Let me, let me explain this. So the UK has this thing where people with mental disabilities get given money by the government. I don't know why, but it's a generous thing. That's one thing I like about the UK. Cool benefits. I get about 600 pounds from that, but I pay half of it to my dad, which he sets aside for future plans. So it's a mix of that and birthdays and Christmas. Do you plan on releasing a mixtape? Are you asking me if I'm gonna become a SoundCloud rapper or something? Hey bro, check out my mixtape, mate. Do I look like politics with a Z to you? I don't know, maybe. I might just release a sh whole bunch of just random garbage on SoundCloud. Or maybe I might put it on Spotify if I really have the effort, time and effort. What is your favorite color? Yeah, my favorite color is probably purple. I just really like it. It's, it's a nice color. It's not because, oh, it's a royalty sort of thing. I just like the way it looks because I, lo I love Vaporwave and it uses a lot of purples. Is it true you like giving Queen devious back shots to femboys? <laughs> yes. Opinion on femboys and tomboys. Like, which one do you like more? And what about them do you like? If I had to choose between woman and woman, I would probably say tomboy because, I don't know, just tomboys just seem kind of cool to me. Tomboy outback over femboy hooters to me. I love femboys, don't get me wrong. I think femboys are adorable as hell, but there's just something about tomboys that I just really like. I can't really, I don't really just, I don't really know what I like the most about tomboys. Like Yuko Aoi, Aoi is a good example of a tomboy. Just kind of somebody who's like outgoing and just like, yeah, something like that. I, I like, I like that. What is your opinion on the taste of sperm? Oh, fucking hell. If you could buy either a new car or 270 Fumos, which one would you pick? I would buy a car myself. It just seems like, cause I want to travel to a bunch of places, but this seems so far out of reach. So if I got a car, it... and that's all of the questions. I don't know what the, f what was the point in all of these questions. I feel like my privacy has just been violated a little bit, but uh, it's fun the internet, isn't it? Fun. Fuck this, I'm going to bed. It's half one in the morning. I'm going to bed.